I hope you're all tuning in there, Aquarius. It's November 2018. I'm Didici from astrology.com.au. Thanks for your company. If you're new, welcome. Hope you'll enjoy the uh, brief synopsis. I uh, usually call this the Oracle Express because uh, we don't talk for long. I, I, I know everyone's busy. I think uh, the substance is more important than the quantity. And right now, um, what I'm interested to talk about, as opposed to last week, uh, where we discussed the transit of Saturn uh, currently in your horoscope, I'd like to look at Jupiter. Jupiter is a, an expansive principle. It's transiting now through the sign of Scorpio, which happens to be your career sector. You know, in uh, Hindu Vedic astrology, which, which I've spent 35 years studying, in fact, between you and I, it's... Um, it's my uh, specialty and I sort of prefer it, but I'm happy to do Western astrology. It, you know, it's still the same principle that we're talking about here. And in your work, it tells us now that it's time for you to take charge. We see Mars in your sun sign right now. And in this 10th house, the transit of Venus also making its way to Jupiter. Now, this can be a challenge, albeit expansive, it is a challenge because you have, over the next few months, this Mars moving into the right angle of Jupiter. Venus will make that right angle much sooner. And what this means is that your passion and your desire for expansion may not be based on a solid footing. So yes, expansion is happening, but you know, when Mars and Jupiter are involved in this process, it can actually indicate uh, far too quick an expansion where there can be a collapse or a falling down or um, a necessity to pair back and then start all over again. So my suggestion here is as much as you can, you have to bring that Martian energy under control right now. Because you, you know, you're like a, a horse at the gate ready to, to take off. A lot of energy, a lot of drive right now, but the right angle challenges you. And therefore, Although your ideas may be great, although what you're planning to do professionally, if it's an independent business idea, a project that you're working on, generally the idea is great. And yes, you can expand and have success, but there may be something there that's hidden, or you may be blinkered in some way, so that you're running off full on without taking into account some of these other factors. That's absolutely essential right now. The fortunate thing is that Venus is really your best planet. Rules Libra, which is the fifth, uh, sorry, Libra is ruling, let me have a look here. It actually rules the, uh, the ninth place, sorry, the ninth place and the uh, fourth place. So when a planet rules the angle and the trine simultaneously, it is the best planet for you. So I dare say that that planet is going to bring a softer energy um, and maybe cause you to think twice about what it is that you're doing. On a personal note, it does have a powerful influence on your relationships too right now because Mars is fully aspecting this uh, seventh house or your marital house. So what it could be is that you may be wanting to run off in some direction, but your partner may not be. So Mars in this position is, is good for your own personal dynamic energy, but it's not necessarily going to pan out for you uh, in terms of your interactive uh, relationships, your, part, your business partnerships, that sort of thing. So it's important to have a conciliatory tone if you're meeting with people, talking with them. If you have an idea, don't, you know, don't sort of run off and steamroll everyone thinking that you know, you've got 
the biggest and brightest plan uh, you may have, but uh, you'd be shooting yourself in the foot with that sort of impulsive behavior because other people can at this time bring something to the table that will actually enhance whatever idea that you have. Uh, another note here is that the 10th house where this transit is taking place is, yes, your professional activity, but it is also the development of your ego, the sense of self. This is the upper part of the horoscope, what we call the midheaven. It is the culmination part of the horoscope. It is what you can potentially become. So don't blow it. <laughs> Deep breath. Meditate. Just take it easy and you'll get the benefits, especially when Jupiter moves to the 11th house. Um, that fulfills your desire for um, achieving your goals. But right now, listen to the sensible input of others. Don't be afraid to accept constructive criticism and direct that Martian energy along with this expansive Jupiter energy in ways that don't really harm others, don't really give them the sense that you're egotistical uh, or difficult to work with. If you can use an all-inclusive um, team spirit with what you're doing now, it's going to give you much, much better results. And that's in contrast to the independent, brash, uh, impulsive Martian energy that we see here in the, in the Ascendant. So it's a matter of balancing these energies for the best results right now. Come back next month, I hope. Um, we're going to be talking more about some of the other principles in your chart, how they may be affecting you, what you can do from within yourself to improve the nature of the outward results. And in the meantime, please do visit astrology.com.au for more. Take care. Bye-bye.